sees the grizzly bear by Gail Kingman Learning, adapted by News ELA staff. So I'm noticing a picture. Take a moment to notice that photograph. And now follow along with me. The grizzly bear is a type of brown bear. It is one of the largest land animals in North America. An average male grizzly has a head and body length of 6 to 8 feet. It can weigh up to 800 pounds. Female grizzly bears are smaller. They weigh between 200 and 400 pounds. The grizzly bear gets its name from its coat. Its thick, light brown to black fur is grizzled. That means it is streaked with gray. Grizzly bears have short, rounded ears and humped shoulders. Their paws have long, curved claws. Grizzly bears are omnivores, meaning they eat both plants and animals. But what? But most of what they eat is vegetation or plants. The bears munch on fruits, be, be, berries, and nuts. They also eat ants and other insects. The meat in a grizzly bear's diet comes from deer, elk, and moose. Grizzly bears that live in Alaska feed largely on salmon. So do the bears that live along the west coast of Canada. Grizzly bears store large amounts of fat. Their bodies rely on it during the, their winter hibernation. This is a long period when the animals are asleep. The bears enter their dens in October or November. They do not come out until five or six months later. Their bodies live off stored fat during that time. Grizzly bears usually mate in June or July. A female bear's pregnancy lasts about six months. Then the grizzly lives, gives birth to one to three cubs. The cubs remain with their mother for three to four additional years. The average lifespan of a grizzly bear is 15 to 20 years. Habitat and population, and I'm noticing a map here. Range is the area in which an animal roams and lives. The grizzly bear's home range is quite large. It can reach up to 500 square miles for males. Females usually stay in a 300 square mile range. The bear's range may cover forest, meadows, and grasslands in or near mountains. Grizzlies live in lowland areas for most of the year. For hibernation, they move to higher ground. There are more than 20,000 grizzly bears in western Canada. Most of them are in British Columbia. Yukon has at least 6,000 grizzlies. The Northwest Territories has at least 3,500. There are more than 30,000 brown bears in Alaska. Most of them are grizzlies. Outside of Alaska, the largest U.S. grizzly population is in Yellowstone National Park. The park covers parts of Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. More than 700 grizzly bears live, there, live here. History and Conservation Grizzly bears used to range over the entire western half of North America. They covered all the land from Mexico to the Arctic Circle. In 1800, the U.S. grizzly bear population outside of Alaska was greater than 50,000. By 1975, that number was less than 1,000. Hunting and loss of land are the main reasons for this decline. As people moved west during the 1800s, grizzly bears were forced out of their homes. People built on the land where grizzlies used to live. Some people shot and trapped grizzlies too. They believed that animals were a threat. Today, people are still building on the wild lands of the United States. Some grizzly bears in these places are in danger. Laws are supposed to protect them from being killed, but some hunters still shoot grizzlies. They mistake them for black bears. During the 1900s, the U.S. government made efforts to protect grizzly bear land. The government worked together with Native American tribes. The efforts were very successful in some places. As a result, the overall grizzly population increased. In 2014, the animal was taken off the endangered species list. The government says grizzlies are no longer in danger of dying out. However, they are still listed as threatened. Grizzly bears have not fully recovered yet.